What's the matter, Elliot? You're up early this morning. <laughs> oh. Oh, he always turns up without warning, that one. No. Hey! No, Mom, don't go out there! It's an alien! <laughs> it's true he can be a little intrusive, but that doesn't make him an alien. But, but Mom! <laughs> Elliot, allow me to introduce Raoul. Hi, Elliot. Wow, you've really grown. I don't talk to aliens, so there! But, but I'm not an alien. Don't be fooled, Mom. He's an alien. I saw him last night. He's taken on the appearance of the first human he saw when he arrived. That means me. <laughs> Elliot, you don't remember Raoul because you were very small the last time he came. And he looks like you because he's your cousin. <laughs> Elliot, you are, like, totally cool. He looks just like me when I was his age. Liar! It's not me who looks like you. It's you who looks like me. Elliot, can't you stop yelling for one minute? Cool. Huh? Uncle Jeremy. Oh. Susie. Hey, you really grew <laughs> up. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, hi there, Raul. It's great to see you. Right, let's have some breakfast. Uh, normally, that would be my place. Uh, yeah. Take my bowl as well, if you like, Raul. Wow, you are too cool, Uncle Jeremy. Ugh. You guys eat this muck for breakfast? <laughs> no cereal for me, thanks. I'll be tossing and turning all night otherwise. Huh? <laughs> Luckily, I brought my own grub. It's totally cool exotic food. So, uh, it's uh, good of you to pay us a surprise visit like this, Raul. Are you going to stay for the weekend? Uh, I'm going to stay longer than that. I've seen all sorts of places all around the world, and I can tell you that your pad is really totally cool. <laughs> it's amazing how similar you and Elliot look. Huh? Not surprising. He reproduced my face to trick everybody. They don't look anything like each other. Raul is way better look... Uh, much cooler. Are you joking? He isn't even human. The proof? He doesn't even eat cereal. It makes him sick. I'm warning you, I won't be taken in so easily. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me at your age. Did you see my totally cool sidecar? If you like, I'll take you for a ride. Oh, yeah? Huh? No way! Hey. Elliot, what are you doing? It's not playtime. It's time to go to school. But what does he look like, your alien? Uh, me. But he isn't human. Mm -hmm. He comes from another planet. <gasps> so he could move into my house. But he's an alien, and he eats grub. It's something green that smells really bad. At night, he takes on his true form. He's actually a giant caterpillar. Look! It wasn't too clever of you suggesting he stay for the weekend, Jeremy. You know what he's like. We won't be able to get rid of him. You're exaggerating, my love. He is family, after all, and family is very <laughs> important. But where's the TV gone, sweetheart? Hey, Unc, you don't have a long extension lead, do you? It's for the TV in my tent. Mm -hmm. But, Raul, you do know we have a guest room. That's cool, Auntie, but you don't need to go to any trouble for me. I'd rather sleep in the garden. What planet do aliens come from, miss? Oh, Elliot, today's lesson is only about the planets of our solar system. And we know today they are uninhibited. What should you do if an alien moves into your house? What are you talking about, Elliot? It's the truth. An alien invasion has begun! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's gone now. Yeah, but maybe he's taking your whole family back to his planet with him. Hmm. The shuttle's gone. Well, that's it then. He left with the whole family. <gasps> oh, no, look. He forgot your sister. Susie, you haven't seen the alley... Uh, hmm? uh, Raul, have you? Isn't he totally cool? Oh. Maybe he hypnotized her. Snack time, hmm? children. Oh, great. There you are, Dad. 
Children, you will have the honor of testing the Jam Dispenser. Yeah, Mr. Kid, we got an alien invasion on our hands here. You select the flavor with this button. Then we press the start button. Ow! Ah! <laughs> uh, hmm. Good evening, darling. Where are you going with that sticky thing? To the garage to make some adjustments. Uh, no, the garage, not cool. You can't go in there, Uncle. I just put my sidecar in there. It's not the best time for tinkering about. You could scratch my paintwork. But, uh, tinkering about yourself. Don't exaggerate, darling. He is family, after all, and family is very important. Excuse me, my love, I'm going to my office to finish... Uh, <gasps> no, actually, that is impossible uh -huh. either. I'm using the computer to send messages and photos to a pal who lives in the Antipodes. Uh. It's true, he is a bit imposing. What's the Antipodes? That must be the name of his planet. It's true, he does look like you, Elliot. No way. Raul is much more cool. Anyway, we just saw, if we don't stop him, the invasion will begin. That's crazy, crazy, crazy! Do you read me? I repeat, do you read me? <laughs> Which one is the coolest? <laughs> Could you make a little less noise? Huh? Dad's letting him use his garage. Mom, her computer. Susie, Mom, and Dad have all been hypnotized. There's only us left. But that's horrible! But that's horrible! I don't have one single dress that's really cool! I've got a plan. You know, Susie, the only one who can tell you which dress is coolest is Raul. You should tell him to come up and help you choose. Yeah! Perfect. Here's what we're going to do. K2, you go to the garage and put the shuttle out of order to stop him from taking us away. Mm-hmm. Mimi, you put cereal in his food. It's poison for aliens. And me, I'll go and interrupt the messages on the computer. What are you doing? Over here, you big slug! Make up your mind! Big caterpillar or big slug? What is going on in here? My office! My computer! What have you children done? Don't tell them off, Auntie. Everything's fine. My hard disk doesn't have a scratch. All right, K2, Mimi, you two better go home now. And you, Elliot, are punished mm -hmm. for good. Uh, that's not fair, Mrs. Kid. Me and Mimi are just as much to blame as Elliot. We should stay here and be punished with them. Yes, we just have to call our parents and tell them we're staying here tonight. <sighs> Very well, if that's what you want. My grub tastes funny this evening. Maybe your smelly grub isn't so fresh anymore. If it's been carted over from the planet The Antipodes. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, Raul? Mm. The alien? For goodness sake, I'm not an alien. In any case, the head is a really good copy. Is it made from rubber? <laughs> Can I touch it? That's huh? enough of this nonsense. You are punished. Huh? So if you've finished what's on your plate, huh? it's off to bed with the three of you. No. Huh? <clears throat> oh. This stuff really tastes strange. Are you sure your fridge is working all right, Uncle? Absolutely certain. I adjusted it myself. I feel a little queasy this evening. I'm going to bed. <gasps> What's he trying to say? I know how to adjust a fridge. I must say, he's starting to annoy me, too. I think he's too cool. That's, That's right. right. Much, Much too, too cool. cool. And what if the grub with cereal doesn't work? Well, then we'll have to wait for later tonight when he transforms back into a giant caterpillar and attack him while he sleeps. What did you put in the water guns? Pulverized breakfast cereal. Pure poison for aliens. Ah! <gasps> Be quiet, ah! Mimi. Shh. <sighs> Ready? Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> 
here. I don't believe this. You woke us up. But Raul, what's going on? I told you he was an alien. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye now. See you all later. Goodbye, alien. <laughs> For once, it looks like Elliot's antics came in handy. Mm -hmm. It's a pity you're not staying any longer, Raul. Oh, oh yes. yes. Such, Such a, a pity. pity. Oh, no. My car.